Hey y'all, welcome back to the channel. Mr. Shea Poulet. Chase is with us today, my boy. So we're just putting some new wood shavings in for the for the girls, and then I decided I was gonna let the boys uh, split them up. So the other day I didn't get it on video because every time someone uh, s someone ends up dying, I don't like to uh, video it. So uh, my big Brahma, sad to say, Ernie. Anyway, he just up and up and died the other day. Now, in some of my videos, some of my videos, uh, you could see where Ernie was always perching, and he had diarrhea really bad. So, uh, so anyway, I think uh, I don't know, something got to him. So anyway, he got sick. And Charlie's getting getting the girls interested. So we got Sarge and Charlie over on this side with the main flock. I figured they're the two most dominant ones. They're gonna get the job done. Um, Charlie's spurs, I gotta learn to pull those off. So uh, I'm gonna watch a few videos on how to do it and uh, just bite the bullet and try to do it myself. So uh, stay tuned with that. We'll get it on video. Now all the girls are playing in the wood shavings. We just collected some eggs. The eggs are outside. I didn't count them, but there's a good there's a good amount. Oh, there's there's one egg, Chase. Yep. So, so we did get some eggs. Let's see. I'll show you guys what we got. Good little amount, but uh, you know, like I said, it was it's been uh, today's my third day. Since been in the coop, so uh, I'm kind of slacking lately. And uh, this I plan on filling tomorrow, so there's about. No, maybe I'm gonna have to fill it. Might have to fill it today. But I'm hoping I'll be able to put them on uh, automatic water very soon. Charlie's just getting frisky. He doesn't care who uh, who squats. I gave them a, a couple pieces of turnip, so they've been pecking that for a little bit. Charlie's in the box. Get out of the box, Charlie. I'm windy, I tell you. And then on this side, we put some new uh, shavings down also. And on this side, I got the silkies and the silky mixes. So they're over here with Todd. He's all alone. No other roosters to bother him. I'm gonna have to put more uh, shavings down on this side, but we got my little gray mix silky on this side. And then we have this one here, she's Brody. And that one over there, she's Brody. So I'm gonna be uh, kind of curious to how they're gonna figure out where they wanna lay. <laughs> now, I'm probably just gonna put a nesting box. I don't know, maybe I'll put it over here in the corner. Yeah, well, that's where Ernie was. Like, look at his, look at his poop. It's really bad. There's some more of it too. It's all down this area. Yeah. So anyway, so he was, he was sick for a while. There's a little white silky. Yeah, Todd has really nice colors, so I can't wait to see uh, what eggs come out of this side. And I still kept a, a nesting box over there. For now, anyway. Chase, you want to bring that uh, buck, that uh, jug? And they still got lots of um, lots of feed, and it's only silkies on this side. They don't uh, they don't really uh, they don't eat they don't eat too much anyway. So opposed to this side. 
But I would like to take this box out of there. Because what I could do is I could put this that box over on the other side. And I could use that side as a Brody side for, for hatching some eggs. I can just take eggs out of here and let them sit on them. So I was contemplating calling her the silver lace and I was going to call her the blind one. So no point. I'm getting like at least 15 more hens that are laying so I'll probably just stop at 15 and uh, get get probably 10 white layers and I'll probably get uh, 5 brown and then uh, I'll add them all to this side and if I want to hatch some more in June I can but I don't like hatching that late in the season just because I like I like the birds to be uh, fairly old going into the winter time right so you don't I don't like to have two three months old uh, month old uh, chicks going into the winter just because they haven't uh, really got that strong yet so just my personal preference not saying that's the best thing to do that's just how I like to do it by June you have still six months so by six months old they're laying eggs and they're you know fairly fair uh, you know young adults so uh, Such a fluffy there. Yeah. Well, there's no more that I can throw over on, on that side because all these ones are the young Brahmas, which they still lay on this side. So any of those that get uh, get fertile uh, fertilized by either one of these guys are going to be just mixed breeds. But <coughs> anything by Charlie is basically an Easter egger. And anything by by uh, Sarge is going to be just a barnyard mix, but still pretty cool. Might might have some speckles. Oh, did you see Phoenix? Phoenix squatted right down. She knew the drill. She's one of the old girls, so she uh, she's been with Charlie before. Yeah, yeah, she's a mess. But anyway. This is the reason I want to call her. So if you guys are just tuning into my channel, yeah, something wrong with her. She's been doing this for months now. Just only when she drinks, she seems to take seizures or something, I don't know. So in the back of her neck is all missing feathers and the back of her back is all missing feathers. See, these two boys are the dominant boys. They were the two out of the whole group of boys that I had that were the most dominant. But Charlie's the main boy, but now, now they're challenged. And I tell you, Sarge is a big rooster. But I leave them, leave them be. Most of the girls don't even care. You can see they're not scared. Yeah, well, the silver lace knows to, to get out of dodge because uh, might I might end up in here one day and she's going to be probably dead on the ground because the roosters probably uh, probably did her in. But, but anyway, hopefully, hopefully not. It smells a little bit better in here anyway. How much feed is left in this? So we're down about three quarters in, in the machine. So we're good for about three, three days, four days. There, at least the boys can go outside now. But I gotta learn how to take, uh, take Charlie's spurs off, because his spurs are nothing like I've ever seen. Look, look how curved they are. And then Sarge, next to me, he got like, spikes. Look at those things, they're like daggers. Anyway, there 
They're all getting rowdy. As soon as I leave, they're even going to get more rowdy. All right, y'all. Thank you for tuning in to the channel. Hope you're all enjoying your weekend. Happy Easter. Please like, subscribe, share. That's how I get all my views. I'm trying to be famous like Mr. Beast. Bars is Mr. Beast. Oh, yeah. She's such a pretty hen to, to color, but she ain't laying no eggs. Well, look at this. That's it. That's proof. Yeah. Have you tried doing that to another chicken? Yeah. <laughs> no, I don't. That's her sister right there. Yeah. That's her sister, this one. Come on, now. All right. Oh, my God. <laughs>